Hi everyone, welcome to another video here at the Academy Chesterfield Golf Club. It's lovely to have you along for another one. My name is Warren Bennett. We've got Trev mooching around in the bushes somewhere, um, getting out the sun, because at the moment it's a hot day in the UK, so long may it continue. We've got a great exercise and a great feel here for people who slice it, and not only people who slice it, but people who want to match up and get good sequence in their swing, especially the transition, which we've talked about in the past, where it's the most difficult area of the golf swing because it's the one that's happening so quickly and it's a blink and you miss it. So this is a great feel, especially if you want to tack the ball more from the inside. And this can be done with a driver and an iron. Firstly, I'm going to show you with a driver. So if you get an impact bag, and now obviously everyone hasn't got an impact bag, um, so you can use a cushion if you're at home. This is a great one because what you're trying to do is avoid the club getting high and outside the line here on the, on the downswing. So if you get high and on the outside, sequence is wrong, you're going to have to do some correction. So this feeling here, so remember you can place a cushion, you can do this at home. This isn't for hitting balls right now, so you can make a backswing. And what you're looking for, you're looking to drop this club, move a little bit further away from it. You're looking to drop the head of the golf club onto the impact bag or the cushion. It's just dropping it down here, because remember, you're looking for a down in the downswing. But more importantly, you're looking for the club, and especially with a driver, because obviously we know it's teed up, you're looking for it to be down and on the inside. So that's gonna help us with this sweeping action. Really important to get this club swinging correctly in the correct sequence coming down. So you, what you're wanting to do here is let this club drop onto this impact bag really not really doing a lot with this exercise. Now, devil's in the detail, as we always know with any exercise, you don't want to do any exercise wrong. So it's making sure you're doing it correctly. So what I mean by this is, what you want to do, you don't really want to drop this club and put the sole, which is the bottom plate of this golf club driver, com completely on the bag. You want to introduce a little bit of club face so what that's doing, that's kind of shutting this club face down a little bit more. So especially for you slices of the ball, if you're coming down steep and open and cutting across, putting left to right spin on it, you're looking for the opposite. So you're looking for the club to drop in transition. You're not really moving yet. You're dropping it and letting the club face come in a little bit more shut. I'm not a great advocate of coming down shut and bowed left wrist but you're definitely looking for the opposite and you can't feel this when you hit a shot. So, a few exercises, you're dropping it down onto the, onto the impact bag. Dropping it down onto the bag. So let me just put a T. Here at the warm-up area at the Academy, can't hit a driver, but you're feeling the same thing. So dropping it in, dropping it down, letting it just drop here. And then when you come to hit it, you're sensing the same feeling. So you're delaying the out. So you're letting this fall down and beside and behind you. Because when you let this fall down, you're delaying the out. And that's what you want to try and achieve. Everyone who's trying to get out towards the ball too early is going to be in trouble. So next time, all these little exercises you do at home, golden. Beautiful sunshine. You can actually do it indoors. But get out. Place the, place the impact bag or cushion kind of in line with your back leg, a little bit away from you, and try and deliver this club down and a little bit more club face into it than the bottom of the club as well. So you're really keeping nice and shut here. It's a beautiful exercise. So that's with a driver. So with a driver, that's all you kind of need to do. You don't need any weight shift with a driver too much. You're just allowing this club to drop. And as soon as you introduce some speed, hopefully you'll find a nice little middle ground, quite a nice little Goldilocks area here. Because remember, you can still play good golf with the club coming slightly out or slightly in. But you don't want to be extreme outside high and outside and across remember especially with a driver that's why a lot of people struggle with a driver if this is too high and outside too steep it's got nowhere to go smother cut across have to back away right that's with a driver let me show you the same exercise but it's slightly different with an iron so 
So I've got a seven iron here and I could actually start hitting some balls with a seven iron. Make sure I'm lined up correctly. Right, so it's the same thing with an iron. So especially the transition, you're dropping this club face a bit a little bit more into the into the bag than the sole of the club face. So when I look down and allow it to drop onto the impact bag, the kind of the club face is aiming at the ball. Now with this, with an iron, obviously, if I stayed here, because this, this ball is now on the floor, it's not teed up two inches in the air. So if I just did that and stayed there, the club's gonna wanna hit before the ball. So to counteract what's different with this iron and it is with a driver, to stop that, we need to introduce the weight shift. So the same feeling of down and let it drop. The same feeling is we're gonna allow this club to drop and we're gonna introduce some weight shift. Not with our head and shoulders, by the way. Remember the correct weight shift is moving off our right side onto our left and getting some pivot there. So dropping down and shifting as well. So let me just feel that drop down, which is gonna make you nice and shallow with a shift. That's not bad for the first one of the day. And a bit, a bit of a dodgy back as well. In order, we're dropping, we're dropping, and then we're just gonna weight shift. That was better. So remember, the more you can drop this down here and introduce a little bit more lateral shift, the more your ball's gonna get in the way of the club face. Because if you just stay here and just do that with an iron, you're gonna hit before. So a little bit more trickier than the driver. But you drop, shift through. Then the ball gets in the way and you'll feel a bit more compression. Last one. Make sure we're not swaying in the backswing, nice coil, which we always say in our videos, always coiling it, but we're introducing the little drop down exercise. Remember, back in the day, top players called this the gravity drop. Hogan called it the free ride down. You need this little free ride down. This is obviously extreme before the out happens. Too many golfers, especially club golfers, go towards the ball. Hey, why wouldn't you? But in golf, you need to plane it back onto plane then the club does the rest from there with an iron remember it's off the floor so we need to shift our weight off our right leg onto our left okay so try that next time you go to the range hope it helps any questions let me know and i'll see you on the next video cheerio